Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Enemy Within. When we last left off we had an extremely easy covert operation and it looks like we got some money from that so um, that's uh, pretty cool because I do want to spend that money on um, uh, Illyrium Generator. Hyperwave Relay we could do that as well but first I need the generator for power. So 275, we need about uh, 80 more credits. Yeah, we need about 80 more credits. So uh, let's um, let's try to sell something. Um, I don't know. What else? Power sources. We have like a lot. Let's sell one. And let's sell some corpses as well. Muton. I don't think we need mutons. Let's keep one just in case. Complete transaction. And uh, build facilities. Here we want a... Oh, two more credits. All right. Two more credits. Bam. Build facilities. Illyrium generator. So money, Illyrium, alloys. We have enough alloys and Illyrium. We have power sources as well. So yeah, begin construction. 14 days. That's gonna take a lot of time then. But uh, we need it. We need it. So, begin construction. Insufficient funds to dig deeper. Alright. Mission control. And let's scan for more activity. Alright, large scout. That's the UFO which actually gave us a lot of trouble last time. Scramble interceptors with Phoenix cannon. If we need it, we will have the dodge ability. Enemy is padlocked. Okay. Approaching target now. Yeah, we don't need it. Leave the report, and we have a crash site. Let's send the Sky Ranger and um, Captain Sergeant Major Major Sergeant. I think um, we just continue the way we are. People can still get uh, experience. So um, I actually want uh, my sniper here, maybe. So. I want to level you up. We have one heavy, two assaults, so we don't need two assaults. And two supports, so we probably don't need two supports either. Uh, sniper, yeah, I would have another sniper, Sariel. And we may just as well take him. You have a good armor? Yes, you do. Alright, launch the mission. This one should not take too long. Especially since we have much better weapons now and we have a skilled crew. Should be really easy. The area of engagement for this mission will be in India. Our target went down in a Central, this is Big Sky. Strike one is ready to secure the craft. Copy, Big Sky. Strike one is clear to attempt the breach. Is this the same? No, it's not the same. Something else. Here's uh, okay. We are we are in the very corner, so um, let's um, head forward. 
Oh, there's the UFO already. All right. Uh, where's my... No, first... Uh, DTs. See anything? You see meld, that's fine. Then Zhang. Moving to position. See anything? No. Then uh, Sawyer. There's a good spot. Maybe. Don't want you to go there. So where is our uh, sniper? Here. You need to go into some sort of elevated position. Like there wouldn't be bad, right? Yeah. Dash over there. And uh, Sawyer. Right here. And people can start uh, going on Overwatch Kingston. You don't have the... The quick armor, right? So you'll be dashing. And everybody else who does have quick armor can just go on Overwatch. We are very close to the alien craft, so we might as well pay attention a little bit. I think I heard mutons. Heading to that location. It wouldn't be bad to take a few of them alive. Um, this is strange. So, um, can someone get to... No, one step short. All right, Sawyer. See anyone? You don't, for some reason. DTs? There is no one. That's absolutely strange. Hmm. There. I am on it. Half cover over here. And um, this is the edge already. So I will wait maybe one more turn. For see what um, happens next. DTs, you don't need to be so far. You can you can return. Okay. Or you can scout it there. Nothing. Eyes peeled, Commander. Explorando. And just uh, end the turn, please. Okay, I have heard something mechanical. Meld is there. So we'll go that way. But first... I don't think we need to go this way. Come here. Take the melt. Come here. See anyone? No. Okay. Then uh, we could try to dash inside. That's dashing all the way. Well, it doesn't matter if we dash with him, right? Come on, Santino. We need to find somebody already. And there doesn't seem to be anyone here. So go on Overwatch. And we'll move with uh, other people as well. So I guess... Sawyer, you shouldn't be too hasty in the approach. That's fine. 
So we'll have three people. Over here. And then three people on the left as well. Whoops. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> um, how did that happen? Well, maybe Sariel can... Uh, come on, stop doing this. Maybe Sariel can... Um, can overwatch here. And save your butt, potentially. And... Uh, you can dash out. inside, Zhang. Alright. Anyone? Doesn't look like it. So, Sawyer. No one. Come here. There. Moving there. To I don't want to split too much, but on the other hand, I want to cover as much ground as possible. Moving to position. I don't know if this is a good idea. Probably not. Will I open the doors here as well? I don't want to do that. Make up your mind, Santino. Okay, free, free. And... Um, full cover over there. Always nice. So, um... Scanning. Let's see if we can uh, catch someone unprepared. No. They are there. Which is okay with me. I don't wanna fire. I wanna open the freaking door. Ah, oh, come on. All right, doors open. What is making that sound? Style spotted. And look at the mutons. Um, Se están moviendo. They are flanking my position. Well, there's nothing easier than uh, punching you, but I will actually go and punch this guy. Can I punch this guy? Oh, he will. We will destroy that. So I don't want to destroy that. 60, 35, all right. But if we we go here. I am ready to go. He will be flanked, right? No. <laughs> 58. Oh, maybe because I'm Okay. That was that was not well done by me. Sawyer, can you do better? You can actually kill this guy with them. Okay, who has the stun? This guy, DTs. And DTs can go there. Alright. So, come over here. You are flanking him. Try not killing him. Alright. Well, if it must be. And uh, we can move. And you have a nice shot, maybe. Oh, not with this weapon, though. That's fine. And then Santino could do this, but um, he would destroy my things here. So let's try first with Jones. You are flanking him. And 
only this much. Hmm. All right. So I wonder, anybody else? Santino could do it with just a uh, normal shot if he wanted. DTs, do you have a shot? Yes, you do. 23%. Yeah. Learn to do that. Oh, no. We have destroyed it. Okay, don't learn to do that. Hmm. Fine. Position confirmed. Come closer. So much effort and Overwatch. good for nothing. So, since we already went this way, like let's continue. I'll be watching. You better be. Canister location confirmed. Why did you go after the sectoid? He's down. All right. So where is that uh, thingy? It's right there. Okay. So I would say um, DTs. You will start. Was that a hit? I can't see it. It was a hit, but not very good. Santino, you can uh, hit him later. So, Sariel Ever, for example. 66. Oh. All right, then... Um, Tony, you don't see him? Are you kidding me? 100%, come on. Okay, that's much better. And uh, now we shall punch him. <laughs> Kinetic strike, right here. Closing to engage target. Now, that was sweet. <laughs> that was incredibly sweet. Sawyer, you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna run here. <laughs> Find the... Uh, oh, these guys? I didn't want to find them. Well... Um, I want... No, come on. Want that. Excellent. And now you can run away. Excellent. And if we are gonna stay here, it's gonna be very, very bad. <laughs> But I would also like to throw the grenade there, or fire a rocket, you know, like, that would be so awesome. Zhang, do you want to die? That's six damage. You will die, though. If I leave you here. But I may as well let him die. I mean... He's good for nothing. If it did a little bit more damage... That would be good. So, I am I have a chance to hit like... Five of them, basically. You have 15 health. Yeah, Zhang, you're not any of the subscribers. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Um, like this. Well, let me do this properly, shall we? I think he went like uh, there. Yeah. Must have. I can shred them as well. All right, let's do this. Thirty damage. You did thirty damage. If you die, it was worth it. <laughs> Blood call, but they don't seem to be interested in shooting at me for some reason. What the heck, people? Oh, probably that's why. Cannot fight it. Well, don't worry. We are gonna, we are gonna save you because that guy is right here, and I'm gonna kick his little butt. I'm on my way. That's fine. Taking fire. We should probably run with a guy with lightning reflexes as well. If we can. Yeah. I definitely want to kill this guy no matter what. Moving in for the kill. Now you are not anymore under alien control. Oh, but you don't have any movement. Looks like it. All right. That's that's fine. Who else? Um, a run and gun, I would say. And probably go after this guy. I don't want to be mind controlled again. Although, uh, where is the other one? You have lightning reflexes, don't you? Yes, you do. Dash over there. I still can't believe that... Uh... Oh, there is the other one. All right. 66. Sure. I still can't believe they didn't shoot at us. That just doesn't make any sense. Okay, we need to be rather far away if we want to hit. 64 is not bad, and if we do a headshot, we might kill him. Unless we miss, of course. Alright, so we have DTs, Sawyer, only DTs and Sawyer. So, um... The mutons are the more dangerous ones, right? Headed there now. So go there, and you're flanking this guy as well. And Sawyer, you need to take care of this one. Yeah. It's not a flank, but should be enough. So, puny sectoid. What do you want to do? I will take you alive, you know that. <laughs> Mind controlling somebody? Not a problem. Looks like they can't make an action anyway. In the turn they are mind controlled. And you have stun and you can go there, excellent. So what we shall do is, uh, well, take somebody who can shoot. Mm, 
not so many, eh? This guy could, but... Okay, maybe run and gun someone? Zhang? No. Sawyer? No. Santino? No. DTs? No. Sorry. Oh, our run and gun guys. Uh, ah. Alright. Any possible way you can do this? If everything fails, I can go and punch him. So... Can go here. Try to stun him. 49. Can incapacitate enemy targets. Higher chance if the target's health is at 3 HP or below. Well, 49 is not bad. No, stun failed. Okay. Okay, no problem. Let me just make sure that I am where I need to be. And our favorite move. Operational objectives completed. Excellent. And we even got uh, that melt. That was a cheeky move. <laughs> Impressive work, Commander. Our soldiers have to be feeling good after a mission like that. Oh, definitely, especially Zhang. <laughs> so, Lieutenant, flush or rapid fire? Rapid fire. DTs. Smokes and mirrors. Field medic. Alright. Sectoid corpse, corpse, Illyrium. A lot of damaged stuff, which we can sell actually. So that's perfect. Sell, sell. And we don't need the mutons. I don't know if we need the sectoid commander corpses for anything. No idea. Um. Researching alloy cannon, engineering, um, we would like to build something, maybe excavate there as well, and build an access lift on the last level. Alright, uh, seven days until satellites are done. Forty. Nah, it costs weapon fragments. I, I don't want to spend weapon fragments. Rapid recovery might be nice to have. Let's take that. So we need 75, so 35 or something like that. Yeah. Complete the transaction and let's go to Barracks, Officer Training School, Rapid Recovery, Purchase. Perfect. And Mission Control, I guess. Improved Medikit, nice. Gave us even some uh, money back. I guess I don't need to do anything with that, right? Scan for more activity. Excellent. So we have the genetics lab and 
that means we can go and uh, augment our soldiers. Uh, I don't think that's it. Is that no build upgrade augments? Augment soldiers into mech troopers, enabling them to deploy mechs in battle. Cyber suits, maybe under research. Commander, the genetics lab is now prepped and fully stocked. We can begin genetic modification of our soldiers on your order. All right. So visit the gene this lab. This facility will be the nerve center of our genetic modification program. Our soldiers will receive entirely new capabilities, making them more effective on the battlefields than ever before. As we improve our understanding of alien genetics, the range of available modifications will expand. Commander, the genetics lab is now prepped and fully stocked. We can begin genetic modification of our soldiers on your order. That's really good. So uh, let's see what we can do. Um, we can't uh, enhance mech troopers, looks like it, but everybody else we can. And we, of course, should enhance the um, colonels, right? So let's say Sniper Pralinor. Would you like to be... Oh, wow, we can do so many things. Okay, so let's have a look. Legs. Muscle fiber density confers superhuman leg strength, enabling the soldier to reach high positions without the need for ladders or other climbing aids. We have uh, the climbing um, uh, armor, so we don't need that. 25 melt, 60. This one is less melt. Adaptive bone marrow. Wound recovery time is reduced by 66%. Stacks with rapid recovery. Soldier regenerates 2 HP per turn up to the HP maximum without armor. That's also cool. Mimetic skin uh, confers the ability to change skin pattern to match cover. When the soldier moves to high cover, enemies without special capabilities will not target the soldier. Does not work if any enemies have line of sight to the soldier's starting position. Leaving cover or firing will break the concealment. This costs 65 um, melt and 150 gold, so th that must be really good. 15 and 35, okay. So bioelectric bio skin, the soldier projects an electric field from his or her skin, revealing but not alerting nearby enemies and is immune to strangulation. Okay, I guess jumping and uh, regenerating is, is good. Concealment is also very good. Okay, chest, secondary heart, causes soldiers to bleed out instead of dying. Ah, that's what we actually read uh, during research. So 15 melt or 10 melt for adrenal neurosympathy. Overloads the glands. When a kill is confirmed, soldier emits pheromones. Grants offensive benefits to all nearby squad mates. Only 10, that's nice. Eyes, depth perception. High advantage confers additional 5 aim and 5 critical. So for snipers we could do the depth perception. And it costs only 5 meld and 15. 10 aim after any miss. For assaults that would be nice. And these are really cheap. 5 each only. And neural feedback causes damage to side attackers ah, that we have read previously. All right, so muscle fiber density or bone marrow. But it, it ignores armor, so they will be low on health already and I will just uh, use medkit on them. So maybe we can um, consider muscle fiber density for someone. But for now we have uh, jumping armor, so that's fine. Mimetic skin, I think... Uh, my colonel assault has asked for it, but he has that uh, stupid ability, the, the close combat specialist or something, which had done more damage to me so far than what it was worth. So I won't give it to him because that would probably break the concealment. But he may get a secondary heart. Actually, all colonels may get secondary heart so that they don't die. Yeah. 
I think so. It only costs 15. And then um, this is fine, depth perception for snipers, the other one for assaults. And I will wait for the second brain thingy to see what else we can get. So um, I will save my money because it costs a lot as well. Enormously valuable in advancing our theories on genetic modification. So far, we've been limited to the augmentation of existing human organs. With the latest autopsy results, we now have the option of incorporating alien physiology into our genetic enhancement programs. It may be asking too much of our soldiers. They will be even more capable on the battlefield. Yeah, it's really interesting how you can do that in a matter of days, you know, like it's 16th of June. <laughs> in three months we have done so much as the humanity done since now, uh, until now. Anyway, don't have money, so can't afford it, so um, we'll do it later. Would like to build a lab. Costs money, of course, everything costs money. That's fine then. Uh, 36 minutes. Let's uh, let's see what we can do. Raven free is ready. Why? Oh, because it was um, it was damaged. Yes, alloy cannon. The alien alloys have proven to be extremely difficult to forge and manipulate for use in our theoretical designs. Machining the alloy was an arduous process, leaving us with limited pro options as to what it could be used for. Although we considered the alien alloy's density a benefit, one that made it ideal for use in an advanced form of projectile ammunition, the material proved to be so dense that it ate directly into the weapon's barrel, making it useless after a single firing. Oh, really? <laughs> That's too bad. After a number of failed attempts, we finally managed to develop a barrel sleeve made from the alloys, which has so far survived several hundred test firings during our experiments. With the alloy cannon, as we've been calling it, now, operation, now operational, we've had ample time to study the effects of its design. Although similar to a traditional shotgun configuration, because of its specialized ammunition, the alloy cannon is substantially more powerful and deadly. Testing on targets made up of a modified ballistic gel proved pointless as the targets were completely penetrated by the alloy munitions despite an average thickness of roughly 2 meters. Needless to say, this weapon will have a similar effect on any hostile targets our troops might encounter. Excellent. So next uh, we can't do much really, so either Titan Armor 11 or EMP cannon, so I don't know, let's do EM EMP cannon. Sure, why not? And um, let's continue. Alright, well, we need an exiled mission, but it, it they will give us only 30 credits. So, I mean... I have had such a bad luck with these requests. They usually give me nothing. <laughs> Not now, sorry. And scan for activity. Excellent. Insufficient funds. This will cost a lot, I guess. All right, so generator is being prepared. 69 is probably... Oh, we need to build that hyperwave relay. 4 power, which we have, and 175 money. Can't wait. Let's build a workshop. What else do we need? Psionics labs. Okay, 200 money. Hmm. I don't know. I want another workshop. Maybe one more workshop, but we don't have money for that. Because that uh, gives us discounts everywhere. And that's really good to have. Alright. Exalt operation. 
in Nigeria. Exalt Sabotage has drained 4 credits from our cash reserves. <laughs> Good. The Exalt cell is exposed for now, but will go into hiding soon. Go to Situation Room. And make a covert operation. Excellent. In Nigeria. That's fine. And we will send Sariel Ever again. So abilities. You now have disabling shot. That's not bad actually. Gene mods, you don't have any, looks like it. I maybe should have given you something. Loadout, pistol, respirator, scope. Sounds nice. So Sariel. Covert operative go. to disrupt exalt cell in. Nigeria. Nice. And we can continue. Commander, our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. Okay, now we have some money back. And we could potentially build that Scilab, maybe. Uh, we have only two power, so no, we can't. Yeah, we can't build anything until the Illyrium generator is finished. We could excavate, but it's probably not absolutely necessary yet. Yeah, I think it's not absolutely necessary. Do it anyway. <laughs> Okay, and do it here too. Later. All right. Um, council report: ten days. All right, we have uh, stuff back. So there will be the Hyperwave Relay, Laboratory, another workshop maybe, we need a Psy building, maybe here, or maybe here. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine, let's not uh, overdo this. and. 150, wasn't that just enough for the gene lab modifications? I think it was. So my supports are totally badass, quick as heck. And Sawyer Jones or Steely Magnolia will get the mimetic skin. She was... Uh, Mind controlled already, probably doesn't have goodwill. Sawyer Jones, psycho. <laughs> Invisible psycho. Now I think I'll go with Steely Magnolia and give her mimetic skin. 65 melt and 150 money. Yes. Ah, so you select it like this. Click to select, click to remove, okay. And um, do I want to give her anything else? No, no. Secondary heart eventually. Definitely don't want her to die. Hmm. Mimetic skin will be enough for now. Confirm gene implants. On Steely Magnolia. Yes. I'll have Except. the selected volunteer sent to surgical prep immediately. Once the genetic modification is complete, I will notify you directly. All right. And uh, I totally forgot that we maybe can upgrade our mechs. 
no. It's locked after some sort of research still. What kind of research do you need? Hmm. Plasma weapons? Maybe. Alright. Alright. Then um, covert operation, generator, cannon, workshop, council report. Okay. Scan for more activity, please. What the hell? Sir! Internal systems are shutting down all over HQ! Wow. Now this forces is amazing. Hostile forces have headquarters and are moving in with reinforcements. We have to protect the base at all costs. If we don't hold the line here, any hope we had of stopping this invasion will be lost. All right. Operation Ashes and Temples. XCOM base defense. The invaders have infiltrated XCOM in unknown numbers. Limited reinforcements, including XCOM base security personnel, are available. Failure will mean the end of XCOM. Defend our base by all necessary means. If all soldiers in the combat area are killed, XCOM HQ will fall. Wow. I love it. <laughs> I really do. Okay, so it's been 48 minutes. I guess I will stop the recording here. And when we come back, maybe the most difficult mission of them all. Unless it will be as easy as the alien base. <laughs> we'll see. We'll definitely see. Make sure to stay tuned. Till next time. Bye-bye.